And now let's all play What's My Line? Hello, everybody. Hello, hello Larry. Gail, hello. Hello. Alan, hello. I forget you're from Texas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I don't forget it. So am I. I'm from Texas. Are you? Corpus. No kidding. Sure. Son of a gun. Did you know that? If I had known that, why? <laughs> Listen, you have two interesting challengers with very complicated <laughs> occupations today. And uh, later, there's going to be a lovely, fantastic, extraordinary mystery guest who will hopefully baffle you. Right now, would our first challenger enter and sign in, please? Greg Hannon. Where are you from, Father? Young Australia. Young Australia. Panel, Father Hannon is here in the United States as an active member of a special group. Now let's show the audience what group it is. <laughs> Remember, I said he is an active member of the group, and we'll start the questioning with Arlene. Thank you, Larry. Uh, Father, is, does the active group have anything to do with games or sports? Yes. Uh, does it have anything to do with... Wait a minute. Are you an analyst of any kind? No. An analyst, no. One no, I meant of sports or games, though. Yes, right. Okay. No. Uh, Zuppi? Uh, would that sport be bowling and you call yourself the Holy Rollers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's <laughs> terrible. Father, uh, I just had to get that out of my system. <laughs> uh, this group that, uh, that you're concerned with, is it, have, does it have anything to do with the Olympics? No. Nothing to do with the Olympics. Two down and eight to go, Gail. Does this sport have anything to do with the water? Yes, Gail. Are boats involved? Yes. Is this a racing sport? No. No, it's not a racing sport. Three down and seven to go. Alan? Do you, uh, in performing this sport, do you uh, travel on top of the water? Yes. Does it have anything to do with water skis? Yes. He is on the Australian water ski team. <laughs> Terrific. Father Gregory Hannon is a ski kite flyer. Uh -huh. Oh, you mean you take off and go up oh, off the water? That's yep. right. They will oh. compete here and in Europe. Father, in what events is the team competing in this country? In this country, mainly in ski drags, both with skis and without skis, barefoot, in long distance ski races, and I'm giving kite flying exhibitions. Now, you said uh, with skis and barefoot. Yes. You ski barefoot? Yes. Doesn't that tend to smart a little around the arches? <laughs> yes, one of our boys got uh, second degree burns doing 85 miles an hour. Ooh! How fast do you have to go to ski on uh, your feet? Depends on your weight. A heavy bloke like me needs about 40 miles an hour. <laughs> How big feet do you have to have? Doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't? <laughs> we've, really got, doesn't. We've, we've got some very dainty girls who can ski very well barefoot. Good heavens. Well, listen, Father Hannon has brought with him a little piece of film of his water ski kite flying. Father, would you explain as we watch the film, would you, would you roll the film? That's, that's hoping this I suppose my, it gets off. That's right. Mm, this is just preparing for takeoff. I'm attached to the kite. Are you taking have skis off on? Here. One ski there, Larry, yes. And uh, I'm traveling on a short rope here. When we go on the long rope, we go up to a height of about 1,000 feet, oh. disconnect the rope and drop away. Is the plane pulling the... No, this, this is a bit of another sport I indulge in. It's skydiving. You're a skydiver and a kite flyer? That's right, yes. You really want to get into heaven, don't you? Can you get anything here? That's why, man. You said that you go up a thousand feet on that kite. Now, how do you get back down? I disconnect the tow line, 
and then the kite's able to glide and I can just pick a spot where I want to land and circle around and just land on the beach or on the water. Do you land be... on your feet? Uh, on the feet or on the skis, you can take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a marvellous feeling to float down yeah, like that. Yeah, that's right. It's really I dream good. about doing things like that, but I would never do it. Have you ever had a dream about you floated like uh, this could float? It means something else then, though, I think. <laughs> Father, does. thank you for being with us. Oh, what's my <laughs> Thank you very much. All What's My Line contestants receive Sarah Coventry jewelry, elegantly designed springtime pin and earrings in silver tone, set with lilac stones and silver chain pastel glow necklace. And Buxton accessories, ladies' trunk and leather fashions for her, buttercalf leather accessories, and fashionable new belts for him, all from Buxton. And for the fastest drying, most natural styling, choose the Clairol Airbrush Styling Dryer. Dual bolts for use here and abroad. Larry? Thank you, Johnny. Okay, would our next challenger enter and sign in, please? Robin Parmalee. Hey, Robin. Where are you from, Robin? I'm from Eden, New York. Eden, New York. Okay, Robin Parmalee lives and works at Montauk, Long Island. She performs a service normally performed by a man. We'll now show the audience just what her line is. <laughs> and let's start the questioning with Soupy. Thank you, Larry. Uh, Miss Parmalee, this thing that you do that's usually done by a man, is it ever done on water? No. Never done on water. One down and nine to go, Gail. Robin, is this done out of doors? Sometimes. Do you wear something other than what you're wearing now? Yes. Do you wear something that be could be called a uniform? Yes. Um, kind of an overall type uniform? No. You're not an overall. Okay, two down and eight to go, Alan. Uh, Robin, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Is it a, uh, is this uniform that you wear, does it indicate the, say, the store, the company for whom you work? No. <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Arlene. If we saw you in this uniform, Miss Parmalee, would we then know what you do? Is it uh, identifiable with your profession? Probably not. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, okay, I'll take your word for it. Four down and six to go, Soupy. When you do this job, do you ever instruct people or take them any place? Yes. When uh, you're taking them someplace, uh, it, it, is there any luggage involved? Sometimes. Would you be a bellhop? Yes, she would. <laughs> <laughs> would be a bellhop. <laughs> How did you come to that, Sophie? How'd you come to that? That's really good. Uh, <laughs> It hurts right up here. <laughs> Robin Parmalee is the only female among the six bellhops at Gurney's Inn at Montauk, Long Island. Robin, how did the job come about? Well, I wanted to work at Gurney's for the summer, and that was the only job they had available, so I took it. Now, what, what do the guests do when they see you? What's their reaction? Oh, they're a little surprised to see a girl bellhop, and some of the men insist on carrying their own luggage, but otherwise, it's, it's a pleasant job. Do you let them when they, when they do that? No, I have to insist on carrying it myself. You do have to. What Good about job. what about the tips? How does that uh, how does that work? About the same as with the bellhops. Really? Do you like it? Oh, it's a fun job. You're gonna go back again next summer, you think? I might. Is this just, are you are you in school now? And this is. Yes, I am. It's just a summer job. Okay, that's lovely. <laughs> you still got a beautiful tan though, in spite of carrying <laughs> all those you. bags. Thank you for being with us on What's My Life. <laughs> Time to play Who's Who now. Can we have the curtain open, Lloyd, please? Okay, here we have four members of our studio audience and a list of their professions. Writer, photographer, teacher, and nurse. Now, the job is to give each person the card that contains the title of their real job. You have 20 seconds to do it in, and we'll start with Soupy Sale. <laughs> Absolutely wrong. Okay, Gail. <laughs> that is. 
is also incorrect, and you now won $50. Alan, you're on. 20 seconds. How is he going to do it? <laughs> Teacher, nurse, writer, and photographer is incorrect, and so Arlene, you're on. That's sensational, Arlene, and the Who's Who people have won the game. <laughs> now, would you take your proper signs, everybody, and show us who is what? He's the photographer. That's yeah. right. The nurse, the writer, the teacher, and the photographer. Now, would you tell us who's who, please, starting with our nurse? My name is Winifred Shea. I'm from Bedford, Massachusetts, and I'm a nurse. Okay. My name is Alan Richards. I'm from New York City, and I am a writer. I'm Mary Lita from St. Petersburg, Florida, and I'm a teacher. And my name is Jim Moore from New York City, and I'm a photographer. Okay, congratulations, team. You've won $100, and each of you gets a gift. Thank you for being with us on What's My Life. Blindfold time group. Has everybody got their panel on? I mean, their panel on. Everybody got their blindfold on? Okay, would our mystery challenger enter? And sign in, please. <laughs> All right, panel, we go to one question at a time now, and you have two minutes to uh, figure out who our guest is. And let's start the questioning with Alan Ludden. Well, with that kind of greeting, it must be Mickey Jagger or something. Uh, are you an athletic personality by any chance? No. Not an athletic personality, but beautiful green eyes all the same. I see Arlene. That's nice. Um... Well, everybody certainly knows who you are, so have you been seen on television a great deal? Yes. Soupy? Are you appearing in town in a show right now? No. Gail? Are you a singer? No. <laughs> Alan? Are you a man? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Arlene? Goodness, it seemed as though that was out. doubtful there for a moment. <laughs> Not for a minute. Uh, you, uh, have you appeared regularly on television? Yes. Subi? Are you an animal? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gail? Have you ever had a show that had your name as the title? No. Well, in a matter of fact, it was called Alan Funtz. Candid camera. Oh. <laughs> you take off your blindfolds and say hello. You know? <laughs> you know, you do a good imitation of Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Look, do that, do that voice, Alan, and say, hi, Mickey. Hi, Look. Ricky. See? Besides, <laughs> Pluto. Gee, Listen, I'll you just made it. You've made another movie. New career, wonderful. What is the movie now, aside from being Pluto? You've done a movie which is about real people. It is. It's called Money Talks, and it's a real funny spoof on money, what it does to people, and what people do to it. Is it also a, a candid camera? It's a movie? total candid camera feature. It's a United Artists picture. It follows up a little thing we did called What Do You Say to a Naked Lady, mm -hmm. which was a spoof on sex, and this one is a... Uh, we hope a bigger and better spoof on money. What did you discover uh, generally about it? Well, one important thing is that when it comes to earning a buck, people have very little sense of humor, particularly when it reaches their own uh, activity. For example, in the film, there's a furrier who comes to make a coat, a $6,000 mink coat for a customer. When he discovers the customer is a Great Dane dog, he measures it, 
styles it, <laughs> picks the fur, and finds nothing at all funny about the whole... It's a sale, and that's what counts. Oh, that's... The... And he's going to make a $6,000 coat for a dog. And he says that mink is more practical because uh, if the dog is in Texas, it, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Who would know, right? <laughs> Alan, it sounds like a marvelous movie, and I can't wait to see it for one. <laughs> thank you, thank thank you. you for being with us on What's My Life. Okay, panel, you were so smart today, we're going to have another mystery challenger. So, I mean, another challenger. So, would you come in, please, and sign in and hopefully be a mystery? Joel Dobbin. Where are you from, Mr. Dobbin? Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. All right, Joel Dobbin performs a service, and we'll now show the audience just what his line is. <laughs> and we'll start the game with Arlene Francis. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Dobbin, do, does your job keep you indoors? Yes, it does. Uh, is it a service that any of us on the panel might enjoy? Uh, that's kind of iffy. Yeah. You mean, would you enjoy having him do that for you? Is that what you mean? Or would you enjoy doing it yourself? I mean, what do you mean? I thought maybe, would we enjoy doing it together? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I very seriously doubt it. Although right. it would not give you a cold, I doubt that you would enjoy it. <laughs> Let's run down a nine to go, soupy. When you do this, Mr. Dobbin, do you wear something other than what you're wearing yes. now? It, it, is it a uniform? Yes. Uh, is it a, a uh, do you ever, uh, does it have anything to do with food? No. No, not as, uh, as its chief function. Two down, eight to go, Gail. Mr. Dobbin, do you work for a profit-making organization? No. Three down and seven to go, Alan. Does your, uh, uh, did you have to have a special training for this service you perform? Sort of, yeah, yes. Sort of, it's a, it's mm. a, it's a technical kind of. Yeah, in yes. a way. Would I, uh, could I avail myself of your service? No. You couldn't at all, even. It would, not only would it be unlikely, apparently you couldn't. Arlene? Oh, you couldn't? Uh, then I can rule out anything to do with the, the police department, because certainly he could have something right. to do with that. Certainly. Uh, <laughs> yes, you can rule out anything. <laughs> yes, as little as can... possible. But it is nonprofit. Is that what yes. you said? Uh, is it any branch of any government that you work for? No, not really. Well, uh, hold the phone. Is, is, is it about municipal? Uh, uh, really? I can hear you. It, How about that? Okay, five down and five to go. Soupy? Do you ever have, <clears throat> do you have anything to do with mail? No. Six down and four to go. Gail? Do you deal with children at all? Not primarily, no. no. Seven down and three to go. Alan? Do you deal with animals? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you in any kind of uh, SPCA or any kind of... Uh, Eight and down and two to go, Arlene. But, but do you work in a place that might be considered a uh, zoo? Yes. Uh, you do something with the animals in the zoo? Yes. Would you be called a zookeeper? Um, generally, but not specifically. Not specifically? Uh, is it... Uh, uh, I tell you, let's flip the some... remaining ones over. What he is, is a reptile keeper. Yeah. For the New York Zoological Park. Now, you said something, uh, you said something, Mr. Dobbin, that surprised me. I thought that the uh, Bronx Zoo was a municipal, uh, no, municipally run and funded. The New York Zoological Society, although it exists partially on a city grant, is not. It's a private organization. Is it really? Yes, it is. Who funds it? Uh, well, the members of the Zoological Society fund it by contribution. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Does the public contribute to it in any way? If they want to become members, yes, there is. $15 a year membership, which is probably the best bargain in the city. Because That's there's cool. no fee to go into any of these uh, exhibits, uh, is Yes, there, there is. The, I believe there's there a dollar now. admission three or four days a week. I think Tuesday and Wednesday Like at the Metropolitan free. Museum and oh, all of them, there, there right. now is. Listen, thank you very much for being with You're us. You're welcome. Well, what's my honor? Well, listen, you had a marvelous average today, everybody, and we'll be back tomorrow, so won't you join us? Certainly. And won't you join us on What's My Line? Goodbye, everybody.
This is Johnny Olson speaking for What's My Line? A Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production. Miss Francis Gowns by Bob Latella.